you don't want to spend an inordinate amount of time making everything perfect. I've got to have the perfect video set up, the perfect logo, PowerPoint slides, everything has to, because what you're really looking for is feedback. So as much of a, you know, quick to the market, down and dirty approach that you can use with those, with those early beta test members, you know, you don't want to spend a lot on design and making every single line of your script perfect or anything like that. It can really be something that you teach live on Zoom, something like this, where you get five or six people or 10 people or however many it is. And you teach it live and you're asking for feedback and questions and all of that. And once you go through that phase, now you have a body of material that you can go back yes. and work with and tweak and test and change. And, oh, I, you know, I really should have added this. So now for the second round, you incorporate the feedback that you got from your beta members and now you improve it. And now you're at a point where hopefully, you know, you can sell it at that point yes. because you've come up with, you've got enough working, you've got testimonials now and you're ready to start selling. And that's a whole other conversation, but I think at least having an audience research phase and a beta test a process first come before any course release. 